We're pretty exhausted. It's 40 degrees C again. We followed the Silk Road for 2,000 kilometers from Bokra to the Chinese border. We've got six wheels and tires, five of which are damaged now, and there's only one that's actually round, the others are squared off and have been bashed back and repaired. And sadly, the Chinese authorities don't like people like us. They don't allow us to come in with our own cars. They'd rather us just sit in an organized tour or have a guy sit next to you in the car. And that's just really not for us. We're trying to do a 17 hour journey in 12 today. We're hoping the new Chinese roads will help. Just when you think that the new roads will last forever, they stop. The police pull you over as well. They probably have to play a game, think that we'll pay just like the locals do. They're not used to anyone challenging their, their authority unless they're connected. The trick is just to say no and just refuse to pay anything. We haven't paid a fine so far and we'd be better for it. It just eats into your day. We've really got to be back into Russia to make the Mongol border by the weekend. Otherwise we might have big problems with our visas. One of the many. It's almost a foot deep. You hit one of those and you're going to be in trouble. So we stopped at the side of the road just to have a quick check at the car. We looked under and we found a massive problem. The arm has completely split. And all this holding it together is the other side. It's still connected. We don't know how long it's, we've been driving on that. Yeah, was we got helped by some locals. They know where we need to go. So we now know where the closest place is to get it fixed. Well, we hope that they know where we need to go. <laughs> we've managed to get it to a petrol station. We can't drive it over that. So unfortunately, Will's had to volunteer to walk and hope we can get someone with a truck to come back. I've just got to wait with the car now. There's also a security guard here with a fully automatic rifle, which says a lot about the sort of clientele that we can expect around here. The problem is the wheel's out of line because of the way the suspension arm is bent. And now the tire's gone, so we now have to change the wheel. We're not sure anymore, the damage may be too great. The suspension is nearly cut completely in half. This, this could be the end of the trip. So here with my friend the mechanic. <laughs> kaput! Kaput! <laughs> Everything's been knocked back into line and now it's being welded back up. It seems to be like it's working. That's what was ripped up one side of the suspension arm. It's been welded up. Thank you guys! Thank you! Last time we came down this road, the suspension arm was completely snapped and now it's all fixed in one evening. Not bad. Now we just have to get back to Russia before our visas run out. So here we have ridiculously large tyres going on ridiculously small wheels. And you, you adventure. Yeah, expedition. Yeah.